In today's video, I'm going to be releasing the brand new Notro Client V3 update. This update has been in the works for a while now, and a lot of people have been asking me to finally update the Notro Client. So in this update, we've got loads of mods and features that a lot of you guys have been asking to add for a while now, and it is finally here. So how this video is going to work is I'm going to show you guys how to install the client with the brand new installer. I'm going to be going through the mods and features. I'm going to be playing some Bed Wars and testing the FPS of this new client. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, to install the Notro Client V3, we've actually got an installer for this version. So before, if you wanted to install this client, you needed to download a load of files. You had to drag them all into different folders within your .minecraft folder. It was pretty confusing, and I got a lot of comments and messages on Discord of people having problems. So this time we've completely simplified the installation process and we've now got an installer. So what you need to do is you need to go into the description down below, find the download link for this installer. Now you will need Java to be able to run this installer. If you don't have Java, you can go ahead and get it from their website here. I'll leave it in the description down below. So just press Java downloads here. Either get the 64 bit or the 32 bit depending on your system. So once you've installed Java, this message should come up. Just press close and you've successfully got Java. So now the Notro Client installer should have this icon on it. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and double click on it and it should open up. So here's the little installer we've got going on here. It's pretty basic, but you know, it gets the job done. So you just want to go ahead and press install client here and it should say install complete. You may now close the installer. So just press close here and there it is. Job done. That was like, what, two clicks? then you just need to go ahead and go to installations, new installation, find release Notro client here, give it a name and then just press create and then select it on your little menu here. But yeah, let's go ahead and press play and check out the new version of the Notro client. So here we are on the main menu of the Notro client. It's pretty unchanged from previous versions, except we've got some credit down here to Frosty. Massive shout out to Frosty. She's been absolutely amazing for this entire project. She's done both versions one, two and three and the installer. So yeah, pretty unchanged main menu here, but we've now got a close button, which a lot of people wanted. But anyway, yeah, let's hop into our game and check out the new features of the Notro Client V3. All right, so to start things off, we've got some new menu buttons here. So if we just press escape here, we can access the client main menu from the escape menu here, which is quite good. We can also access our servers as well from here, and we can join servers from within our game, which is really cool. Now, if we go into our mod section here, we've got some miscellaneous settings down here. So we can now change the scale of all the mods. So if I just show you here, this might be useful if you guys have got like a really small monitor and these mods turn out really big for you. You can just turn them down here. Really useful feature to have. And you can also make them really big as well if you want to as well. The default is one, I believe, but I personally have them just a little bit higher than one. I have it on about 1.2. We've also got this really cool chroma mode. If we just enable that here, look at that. That's just amazing. And it goes through all of the mods. It all kind of syncs together. I really like the gradient we've got going on with the chroma modes on this client. Really, really cool. And so if we just disable that, we can also enable and disable the text shadow, which is kind of personal preference, really. I think it looks a little bit cleaner without the text shadow, but if you do like text shadow, you can just enable it here. So if we go into our mods here, we've got a couple of new mods at the bottom here. So we've got the perspective mod. So if we enable that and then we go to our controls here, scroll down and you will find perspective here. So you can set it to whatever key you want. <laughs> I don't know why it says frosty is cool here. And yeah, so I've got mine set to left menu. Then if I just hold it down, as you can see, I can look all around me. This was a really popular request to be added into the new version of the Notro client. And I was kind of holding back because it is actually bannable on Hypixel to use this. So if you guys are Hypixel players, then make sure to disable this mod. Like I just straight up just disable it here. So you're not tempted to press the key and look all around you. But any other server, you should be fine. Just make sure you guys check out the rules. I don't really want to be responsible for you guys getting banned on the servers that you like because of this client. So yeah, that's a really cool feature. So we've got MS display and time now. So if we enable both of them, MS display basically displays your ping or your MS to the server you're connected to. And time displays your local time, the time on your computer. Now, I don't think the ping mod works on Hypixel because they put a block on it. But any other server, it should be able to display your ping. You can customize these mods as well by going into the settings. So you can enable and disable the background if you want. 
It looks slightly cleaner just having the text without like a black box around it. So that looks pretty cool. And you can also change the color of it by selecting any one of these colors on the right here. So if I just look down here, as you can see, it highlights what block I'm looking at. So if we go to the block overlay settings now, we can now enable block overlay and outline. We can disable the outline and just have the overlay or we can have just the outline like I had before. You can also change the color of this to, again, all these colors that we've got on the right here. So yeah, that was a feature a lot of people wanted as well. So we've got that now. We've also got the coordinates mod, which is really useful for UHC. Again, you can change the color of this. If I just show you it here, it's up here. So yeah, that just shows you coordinates of where you are. And another really good mod for UHC that we've now got is armor status, which you guys may have noticed I've had on all this time. So as you can see, I've got full diamond armor on right now. And then if I start to take some damage here, as you can see, the durability of my armor is starting to go down. So yeah, really good, useful mod. We've now got settings in the time changer. So if we go here, as you can see, we've now got this time value slider. So before, when you just enabled this, it would just make your time dark. But you can actually customize it now to make it whatever time you want using this slider. As you can see, it's changed the time of day. So yeah, it's pretty good. Let's just make it nighttime. I think that's nighttime. Yep, there we go. Here's our night sky. So yeah, a lot of people wanted that as just like a little setting in there. So we've now got that. And then, yeah, the rest of the clients fairly unchanged. We've got potion status, auto GG, full bright, old animations, keystrokes, FPS and toggle sprint and CPS. So they all remain pretty unchanged. We've also still got the old Notro client cape here. Really do like this cape. It does look pretty cool. You can actually change this cape if you guys want. But yeah, that's pretty much the Notro client V3. Just kind of added a lot of features that you guys wanted. Made the client a little bit easier for you guys to main it because a lot of people said they would. It's just It was just missing so-and-so feature. So we've added all the popular ones that you guys have been requested. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy this new update. I'm going to go do some PvP now with the client. We can check out the FPS a little bit as well there. All right, so I just joined a game with the Notro client here. We're going to be playing a bit of Bed Wars to start off with and then we'll hop into some Sky Wars. So as you guys can expect, the Notro client performs really well. We've got really good FPS going on, as you can see on the top here. Yeah, just overall really nice. And from what I've heard from people with low-end PCs, this client's actually really good. Now, I think the reason for that is that it's a basic client, but in a good way. Like, for example, if I go to the mod menu, you know, we don't have flashy animations or GYs or anything like that. It's all fairly kind of clean and just kind of low-key, which is what I really like about this client and I think works really well for people with low-end PCs. So hopefully this update adds a lot of mods and features that you guys have been requesting for a while now so you guys can hopefully main this client and enjoy it as much as I do. I think this is probably going to be the last version of the client for a while now because I kind of want to focus on other things so uh, yeah I guess rip Notro client for now um, but we'll see in the future what I want to do with it because there's still a lot of people that are really interested in this client. I don't know why this guy's building like a massive castle around his bed but there you go. And if you're wondering what the pack is, guys, I'll leave it in the description down below. It's my 150k pack. And that's another thing as well. We've hit 200,000 subscribers now, which is just insane. I want to thank you guys all so much for that. Like, I honestly didn't think I would get 200k subscribers. Uh, it was literally only last year I hit 100k. We're growing so quick. And I just want to thank you guys all so much for that. So I guess this is kind of like my present to you guys to thank you guys all for 200k subscribers. Have the latest Notro client and hopefully you guys all enjoy it. So yeah, now we're at 200k. I've got so many new videos planned. I've got some pretty big uploads coming out in the next couple of weeks, which I hope you guys enjoy. In fact, look out for next week's upload. Next week's upload is going to be pretty big. Let's just say I'm upping the uh, Notre Dame production budget. Like I've spent quite a lot of money on this next video that's coming out. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Whoa, this guy scared me. Okay, just get him out of the game. I don't know why my in-game sounds aren't working. I don't know, that's really annoying. I think it's something to do with voice meter or something, which is the microphone software I use. Let's just get this guy's bed. He's got end stone around it, but that's not stopping me. Let's get you out of the game, GG. So we've just got red now. I don't know where red is. I can see this guy. I don't know what his plan is here. Thanks to the new perspective mod on the Notre Client V3, I can actually see this guy. And uh, it looks like he's got a fire charge. Okay, maybe he doesn't. What is he doing? 
I guess this is the last guy here. Let's just 1v1 him. And he's out of the game. <laughs> GG. That is a win for me. Six kills in that. Pretty good. So yeah, that was the Notch Client in some Bed Wars here. Really performs well. So yeah, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the new Notch Client in the comments section down below. Like I said, this is probably going to be the last version for a while. So I hope you guys all enjoy this. And hopefully you guys like the videos that I've got planned in the future. As well as some other projects which I might be sharing with you very soon. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.